telling you guys, I'm the toughest cat in town. You wouldn't be talking that way if Heathcliff were here. <laughs> Heathcliff? I'm not afraid of Heathcliff. Why, if he were here right now, I'd show him a thing or two. Uh, Heathcliff! That's right, I said Heathcliff. If that fatso were here, I'd teach him a lesson he'd never forget. Hey, uh, Hector, I guess class is now in session. Huh? <laughs> wow, Heathcliff is sure mad. Yeah, he sure is. Check out what Iggy's up to in school. Well, I guess I showed him. <laughs> hmm. Now, class, I know you've all been working hard on your projects for the school science fair. Be sure you're at the auditorium promptly at 2.30 so you can have enough time to set up your projects. And good luck to all of you. Hey, Rod, take a look at this. I've made a slight adjustment on the rheostatic volumbulator control on my computerized electronic solar high altitude transceiver. In so doing, I have increased the solar bounce by 10 megahertz. Oh, yeah? Well, take a look at this. My alterations current transformer is A-OK. -okay. I tested it last night. So what are you doing for the science fair, nutmeg? Uh, uh, it's, um, uh, a secret. A secret? You probably don't even have a project. <sighs> Face it, Nutmeg. Inventing scientific gadgetry just isn't your cup of tea. Yeah, you may be a good ball player, Iggy, but there's no way you could think up anything worthwhile. Let's go, Raj. We've got important work to do on our projects. Oh, yeah! I have a great project. You'll see. Oh, hi, Heathcliff. I don't know what to do. Why, they can put a man on the moon, but they can't think up an easy way to butter toast. That's it! An automatic toast butterer! What's that, Iggy? An automatic toast butterer! That's the perfect project for the science fair! I've got to get it started! There's no time to lose! Yeah, I remember when I was just about Iggy's age. I invented an automatic toothpaste squeezer. That was a good one, too. Well, Heathcliff, it's all done. What do you think? Oh, come on, Heathcliff. Don't be like that. When you see this thing butter toast, you'll change your tune. Mm. Looks like a reject from a bad science fiction movie. Ah, uh, old Spiky. And hey, maybe I can put this machine to good use. Uh, hey, Spike, come here. Who, me? Uh, yeah, uh, come on in. <laughs> uh, what's on your mind, Heathcliff? Yeah, I just wanted to show you Iggy's new science project. Yeah, that's all. What is it? Oh, um, it's an automatic uh, toast butterer. An automatic toast butterer? <laughs> 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 yeah, an automatic toast butter for a big loaf of bread. <laughs> My family has no luck with crazy inventions. <laughs> My grandfather got caught by an automatic toothpaste squeezer. Okay, Big Crip, I've got to get some toast. Now you're really going to see some Just one 
one little turd here, and this baby will really hum. Bugs to work out. It was a rain gun. Five minutes judging. I'll be right back, Heathcliff. I gotta get some more toast. I think I'll check out some of these contraptions. Mm. Ah, the wonders of science. <laughs> Full speed ahead. Going up. Very good. I think I should put this machine up. Oh, this thing looks like it should be in orbit. Being a troublemaker is sure tiring. <laughs> Boy, I hope the judges like my invention. It's very strange, but none of the projects appear to be operating properly. My dear judges, the theory behind my invention, the computerized electronic solar powered high altitude transceiver, is simple. I punch in the code, and my creation springs to life. Disqualified! My project is an automatic toast butterer. Hmm. Perfectly buttered toast. Finally, a project that does what it's supposed to do. First prize! <laughs> I can't believe I won first prize! <laughs> Me neither. I want to get up early so I can polish my machine before the awards ceremony tomorrow afternoon. Night, Heathcliff! Iggy Nutmeg, for your design and creation of this automatic toast buttering machine, we award you first prize in the annual science fair. Now, Iggy, would you please demonstrate your invention to all of those seated in our auditorium today? I'd be happy to. This is my invention, the automatic toast butterer. In order to operate it, I have only to throw this lever... Uh-oh, yeah! uh -oh, there's heat clap! Let's get him! Can't escape from me. <laughs> 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 that Leroy has got.
got to be taught a lesson. He can't push us around like this. You're right, Hector. Leroy does need to be taught a lesson. And I think I know just how to do it. Now, this'll give Leroy the scare of his life. Not bad, if I do say so myself. We'll see how well we fared by how much Leroy's scared. Leroy should be up ahead. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in weeks. Uh, I can't shake that thing. This looks like fun. Let me try. Bongo, no! Yeah, I think I got the hang of it now. What is going on here? Bongo! Don't worry, I got it. Aha! So that's it! Uh-oh! You guys are doomed! Power Bunga! Let me drive! <laughs> we sure showed Leroy! Mongo, don't you realize what you did? You completely ruined our plans! Mongo, this time you've gone too far. I don't understand why we put up with you. You don't? Let's face it, you're not good for anything. Gee, you're right. I botched up our plans and I don't deserve to be a part of the gang. <sighs> Maybe I was a bit rough on him. From where I sit, it looks like Mongo's quit. We can't lose Mongo. Hey, Mongo, wait! I'm going far away, so I can't bother anyone anymore. Mongo, are we glad to see you? Hi, guys! Oh, you don't gotta pretend you care where I'm going. You were right. I'm a dummy, and you're better off without me. No, Mongo, you're not a dummy. I am, I am. And I'm leaving on the next train. We can't let Mongo leave. How would he survive without us watching him? Yeah, we're sort of his guardian angels. We'll just have to find a way to convince Mongo to stay. I've got it. We'll make Mongo think that we couldn't get along without him. We'll shower him with praise. Mongo, we've talked it over and decided that you can't leave us. We'd be lost without you. But I ruined the plan. You said I was stupid. Stupid? Can't you tell when we're joking with you? You're the backbone of our gang. Isn't that right, guys? Oh, yes. That's right. Gee, well, in that case, I'll stay. But I do have one condition. Yeah, I think I should make more of the gang's decisions. I want to make sure I'm doing my share. Uh, now, Mongo, uh, don't feel you have to. No, no, no. It's the only way I'll stay in the game. All right. From now on, you'll be in on all our plans. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I was right. It is Roscoe. R R Roscoe, the leader of the Claws? That's the one. The Claws are the toughest gang around. Uh, next to us, naturally. Roscoe must be casing the junkyard for a possible takeover attempt by his gang. But luckily, we're prepared for him. I've devised a system to find out what Roscoe is planning. I prepared this trap especially for intruders like Roscoe. All we have to do is trick Roscoe into standing under this tree, like so, and then pull this switch. Roscoe will be all tied up, and he'll be happy to fill us in on his plans in return for us letting him go. 
there. Can I be the one to trap Rosco? Uh, all right, Mongo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But be very careful that Roscoe is directly over the trap when you pull the lever. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. Uh, something tells me we're in big trouble. Hey, so uh, I come by today to try and clear the air between our two gangs. Yeah, I always like clean air. Let's see. Where was it? Uh, where is it what? What? Oh, oh, nothing. There's no trap door around here. I know that trap door is around here somewhere. Wow! Yeah, I was right. Uh, well, it was uh, great talking with you, Mongo Pal. I think I have all the information I need for my game. Yeah, I don't think this went exactly according to plan. Well, Mongo, did you capture Roscoe? What does it look like? <laughs> Mongo, how could you have been so dumb? <sighs> I'm sorry. I should never been allowed back into the gang. I'm a failure. <laughs> Uh, what I meant to say, Mongo, is that you did exactly what we wanted. He did? We wanted Roscoe to tie you up. This way, when he reports back to the Claws, they'll be overconfident. And it'll be easier for us to defeat them. That makes sense. I did do a good job. I did. We gotta do something. Mongo is gonna ruin us. I've got it. From now on, we'll listen to whatever Mongo tells us. We'll pretend we agree with him, and then we'll do exactly the opposite. And Mongo's so slow, he'll never know. Yo, before the day is out, Westminster Junkyard will be run by Rasco and the Claws. Okay, we set up decoys and then attack the Junkyard from the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> Riff Raff and his gang won't stand a chance. It's just as I expected. Roscoe's gang is preparing to attack us from the hills over there. We'll charge the claws and keep them out of our junkyard. That's a great plan, Rip Raff, and I'm just the one to lead the charge. What? Let's get them! Uh, Mongo, you're going the wrong way. I think this whole plan will go a lot smoother if we handle it without Mongo. Hector, Wordsworth, Charge! Oh. Wait a minute! These decoys are planted by the claws. They must be attacking the junkyard right now. And the only one there to stop them is Mongo! Yo, this is the way. When I give the way, we attack. Charge! Yeah, how did this thing work? Oh yeah, like this. Oh, no! Mongo, you've captured Roscoe and the Claws all by yourself! So, you thought you could fool Mongo, did you? Roscoe's gang is caught! Mongo must be smarter than we thought! Congratulations, Mongo! You did it! Mongo, we'll never doubt you again! <laughs> if your cat scratches or bites, it's because he has too much excess energy. Instead of hitting him, get him a scratching post like this. If he still keeps scratching, Get a water bottle like this and spray him in the face with it. Your cat won't associate the punishment with you, so he won't get into trouble when you're not there. It works every time. <laughs>